Hey, this is Dr. Dent. I just wanted to share a little video with you about Virtual Leader, which is really an important component of our Management 615 class. Um, a lot of current research is showing that leadership skills cannot be learned best conceptually, so what we need to be doing then is to give students opportunity for practice. And if this were a face-to-face -face class, we could do some role plays in the classroom, we could do some case studies and so forth. But since this is an online course, we are going to be using a very powerful simulation. And what that will give you an opportunity to do is to practice over and over in a very safe environment your own leadership skills. So we are using a product called uh, Virtual Leader and you can follow the links in the classroom to uh, get to their website and you'll need to purchase that uh, simulation to participate in the course. And it offers five different scenarios and each of these scenarios gives you a different leadership challenge. In the first two you are dealing only with a single subordinate or multiple subordinates. But in the other three, you will be in meetings with your own boss and some people even higher on the food chain than your own boss. And so those scenarios will require different types of influence. So the first thing you have to do to be successful with Virtual Leader is to thoroughly familiarize yourself with the student manual. You will see that Virtual Leader operates very much off of the theory that is explained in the student manual. So anytime you want to know how you might improve different things, you can look to that manual to get advice and suggestions. I will also create um, many opportunities in the classroom for us to have discussion that will allow you to enhance your ability to perform well in the simulations. Some of these will be um, discussions that the professor will participate in and there will also be a discussion board uh, just for students to interact about their success with the simulation. So it's fine for students to interact and share tips and things like that. Of course when it comes time for you to write your paper and when it comes time for you to play the simulation for your grade, then you need to make sure that you are doing that on your own. So to get started, as I said, make sure you're familiar with the theory, the fundamentals that are listed in that student manual. Um, and then there are some principles um, practice sessions. So make sure you understand how those operate. That will allow you to learn the mechanics of how the simulation works, about clicking on an idea bar, clicking on an opinion bar on the character's chest and so forth. So you will find that the avatars do respond differently and you will also find that your character, Corey, uh, says things based on your uh, clicking on various bars. Now you may be surprised from time to time about what Corey says on your behalf. But please don't get distracted by that. We've had some input to Virtual Leader about how Corey has uh, operated, sometimes being a little less diplomatic. So even if Corey says some things using words that you would never use, the main point remains the same, and that is that you are either supporting an idea or going against an idea. So don't let what uh, Corey says distract you, but he's either supporting or um, going against based on what you are clicking on various bars. So half of your grade for the simulation portion will be based on the written paper. Half will be the best score that you obtain in the advanced uh, I think it's called advanced scoring, not the practice. So you can practice, I think, an infinite number of times, if not infinite, certainly plenty of times. And then when you want your score to count for your grade, 
go into the, uh, I think it's called advanced score um, mode, and um, whatever gets recorded at that point, you have three chances, and your best score of the three will be the one that will be included in your grade. Now you do need to make sure that when you're playing that you are connected to the internet because when you're connected to the internet the score that you obtain automatically goes into the database that your professor can access to put your grade then into um, the Canvas uh, gradebook. If you for some reason are not online and you're playing the simulation there is instructions on the Virtual Leader website about how you can upload um, simulation attempts that were scored and, and kept on your own hard drive. You can upload those to the internet so that they will be available to your professor. You can also, I believe, download the simulation onto three, up to three different computers for um, one instance. Um, I've had students ask in the past, does that mean that perhaps two students can share the software? And unfortunately, the answer to that is no, because there's only one set of scores that will be recorded. So everybody has to have their own um, scores. And finally, let me say, in the first scenario, you'll be interacting with your subordinate named Ollie, and you are new into your position. So I would say that a mistake that students often make with that first scenario is that they um, are overly directive. And to perhaps counteract that, think about how you would feel if you were in Ollie's shoes. So you have this brand new boss. You don't really have a relationship with the boss yes, yet. You don't have any reason necessarily to be trusting of this boss. So um, kind of think about that as you go ahead and um, work the first scenario in the simulation. So your professor will be available to you to interact with you um, about any questions. That's mostly going to be done through the discussion boards. Um, use email only for very individual personal circumstances because if you have a question there's a good chance that other students in the class have the same question. So those questions should be posted into the classroom. So we hope that you have a great semester and that Virtual Leader is an important tool in helping you develop and enhance your own leadership skills. We've had great feedback from uh, previous students who have used this in semesters before now. All right, good luck.